All right, hey, Glenn, really, look what we have here. Heroes of the police force, two of them. They're furry, they have claws, and they're about to retire, believe it or not. It's Joe and Hutch, and Joe is with Jeff Sanderson, and Hutch is with Jake Elsasser. And uh, good morning to all you guys. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm great. You guys doing I'm good? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, I'm doing well. Good. Are you nervous? I am very you, nervous. Why are you nervous? Come on over. You can turn your body and look this way. Hang out. You're okay. You shouldn't be nervous. You have a dog on your thing. I, I do That's have a dog. Point. You have. So anyway, uh, hey, tell us about the fact that these guys, these these four-legged heroes, are retiring. So what's going on? Well, uh, Taylorsville recently uh, joined Unified Police Department. That's right. And they have a full-time canine unit, and their uh, cap is six dog teams right now. And they have a handful of part-time ones as well. Um, and unfortunately, you know, a canine can cost. Yeah, they cost money. a lot of money, yeah, yeah. to keep them trained. Yep, yeah, exactly. So um, they, the city, Taylorsville City, was gracious enough to retire both these dogs. To, Very nice. Know, Joe's, or, uh, sorry, just going to me and... Joe is going to get retired to Officer Sanderson. You got Well, that is very, very cool. You get to yep. work with them, and now you get to, to live with them and yep. for the rest of their lives. Tell us about the training that these guys go through. Training is significant and ongoing. Um, post standards, which is police officer standards and training, uh, requires about four hours per week per discipline. Both of these dogs are dual certified, narcotics and patrol work. So we're training about eight hours a week, plus anything we, else we can get in the middle of all of that. So what does it take when you, when you train these guys for something like that, for drugs? I mean, how do you do that? Um, it's, it's, it's pretty simple, actually. Uh, we take the real drugs, and we take uh, typically cotton towels. Mm -hmm. We put that in with the drugs, so the odor transfers over to the towels. Yeah. And then uh, for the first couple weeks, we just called uh, scent memorization. We just put them in the dog's mouth, play tug of war, real fun, fun, fun. And then from that, we just step on to indication drills and everything, and just lots of fun. And, and one thing after another. That, and they start finding drugs. And they're trained. You know what? Yep. You guys, uh, you're going to be back here again at 8. You yep. can hang out a little bit. Because yep. yep. I want to talk, talk a little bit more about the dogs and the things okay. that they can do and how valuable they are. And also talk a little bit more about you guys merging with Unified as yep. well. Okay. All right. Good deal. All right. Sounds good. Good to see you guys. We'll right. take Thank a break. You. We'll see you in a minute. All right. Thank you. Yes, you hear the music, you see the dog. That's Starsky and Hutch, by the way. In honor of Hutch the dog, right? Yeah. In honor of Hutch the dog, and Joe the dog is here as well. Good morning. Good morning. How are you guys? And then the humans' names are Jeff and <laughs> Jake, but we're <laughs> who cares about the humans? We're here to talk about the dog. We usually get lost in the shuffle. It's okay. I'm sure that you do. All right, so today is retirement day for these dogs, and this yes. is from Taylorsville Police. Yes, correct. And so, what's going on? Um, Taylorsville joined Unified Police Department July 1st of this year, and in that they have a they have six uh, full-time canine s spots. There you have it. Didn't have room for any more. Yeah. So Taylorsville was gracious enough to retire the dogs to Officer Sanderson and I. Very nice. So you guys actually you, you worked with the dogs, you trained yep. with the dogs, yes. and now you get to keep the dogs. Is that play the with the dogs I guess. and play with them? Is that the normal <laughs> procedure for a cop and a dog? It, typically it is. Yeah, yeah, but usually we wait until they're of age to retire. Right, and these guys are pretty young. Yeah. Four. Joe's, Joe's probably middle aged. Joe's about six and a half. He's Hunch about six about and a half. Four and, four and, and a half, five. About four and a half, five, roughly. Yeah. So um, let's talk a little bit about what happens when Taylorsville joins Unified. I guess uh, what happens is the idea is you save a lot of money. Yeah, correct. Yeah. I mean, the city is saving a lot of money by merging the police force with Unified, right? Yes. Like hundreds of thousands of dollars, and that's yep. the whole reason initially, behind it. Initially, I think six hundred thousand. Six hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. Just initially. Yeah. So that's a lot of money in today's oh, yeah. in today's day and age. Yeah, for sure. So, and that's um, you know, I guess one of the cost saving measures is yeah. not continuing the maintenance because these are not cheap. No. How much does it cost to keep a dog up like uh, this? You know, the initial cost of them, uh, Joe was seven thousand dollars. Mm -hmm. Hutch was sixty five hundred. Yeah. And then on top of that, uh, you know, the the time we put in for training. Right. Uh, both of us is thirty thirty five thousand dollars. Oh. Just so it costs. So it adds up. It costs adds up. It adds up. Yeah. And these dogs specifically, as I understand it, uh, the dogs can be trained for different things, but you you can't have a dog that's a drug dog and a bomb dog. It's either one or the other. It's, you probably could, but it's not anything that anybody does. That's a lot of scent work. For it's a dog. A, yeah. yeah, it's a specialty thing where you kind of limit Typically, yourself. Typically, you don't want the you don't want a bomb dog that's in any way aggressive. You want them to be completely passive most 
Well, some dogs are suitable for that smart. Obviously, right. you don't want them rolling into a bomb and bumping right, exactly. and setting it off. Now, these guys... Oh, these, you saying, huh? Yeah, saying, <laughs> these guys are both German Shepherds, but you can really train... I mean, and these are sort of your typical, what you would think of as a, you know, a drug yeah, dog or yeah. a, a police dog. But you can use other kind so, of dogs. Oh, yeah. German Shepherd. Uh, these guys are actually a Belgian Malinois. Oh, is this a Malinois? Yeah. yeah. Malinois. 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 It's Belgian. It doesn't, it doesn't uh, sound like no, it smells. No, in, in American, no. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. But they're, they're lovers. I mean, you wouldn't oh, yeah. think that these guys were like big tough guys, but they are. No, we, you know, one of the selection tests, you know, we want them to be social with people. Yeah. Both of us have kids. We want them to be great. Good around kids. the kids. Sure. Exactly. Yeah. Well, maybe they can become now ambassadors or something for the schools and you can <laughs> take them around. We'll right? See. We did all the time. We did tons of demos. Uh, I'm sure you did. The valley, and of course, yeah. as you're going through the schools of high school, you'd be like, what's that in that locker? And then, uh-oh, that changes yeah. the whole thing. Might find some drugs. <laughs> you just yeah. never know. You just never know. Well, Joe, nice to meet you. Hutch, nice to meet you. And, and the guys, too. We appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. Nice to meet you guys, too. Listen, best of luck with Unified. Enjoy your uh, your future there and enjoy those dogs. Thank I know you. They are Very special. Yeah, we appreciate it. Thank all you. right, you got it. Have a good one. Thank you.